He was shot by Austin police officers in April, and that case has not been presented to a grand jury. KXN's John Engel spoke to the attorneys representing Officer Christopher Taylor, who is now under criminal investigation after firing three bullets as Ramos attempted to drive away. John? Yeah, Officer Taylor's attorneys say this does nothing to improve transparency and actually paints an incomplete picture of what happened the day that Mike Ramos was killed. Now, attorneys for Officer Christopher Taylor say there's more to this story, and this is only what the physical cameras show. They say what it doesn't show is a lot of the other information, what the officers knew at the time, what the officers knew about Ramos, and his history and how the officers felt. They point to supplemental dash camera video that APD released in addition to the 16-minute narrative, which appears to show officers jumping back from the scene as Ramos pulled away. And another uh, scrambles backward and, and hides behind another patrol vehicle, also presumably for protection uh, from Mr. Ramos's vehicle, who, who I think the inference shows uh, they believe was heading for them. Body camera footage shows Ramos pull out of the parking space. Then three shots were fired by Officer Taylor, though it's unclear from what from that view that you just saw if Ramos was driving toward officers. And his attorneys point out no judge has ruled on whether or not evidence the government has released will even be admissible at trial. Now, Officer Taylor's attorneys also say that they believe certainly that there is more footage than was released by APD today. We know that there were eight APD officers at the scene. We only saw dash and body camera footage from five of them. Tonight, I also spoke to the attorneys of the Ramos family. You're going to hear that perspective coming up all new tonight at 9 and 10. For now in the newsroom, John Engel, KXAN News. John, thanks. The death of Ramos has sparked protests in Austin since the April shooting. A group that dubbed itself the Mike Ramos Brigade began chanting his name alongside Black Lives Matter protesters demanding justice for George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. Mike Ramos's mother, however, has dis distanced herself distances distanced herself from that group.